Cheerio. Welcome to Translogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Yes, we're at the 2012 London Olympics. We're here because there's a fleet of more than 3,000 vehicles transporting everything from Olympic personnel to athletic equipment to the athletes themselves. So how does all that work? Let's find out. All right, so we're here with Graham Biggs, Director of Communications at BMW UK. Graham, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Now, BMW worked with LOCOG to provide a number of fleet vehicles for the Olympics. Tell me a little bit about how that partnership happened. Yeah, we actually started working with LOCOG about two and a half years ago on the provision of uh, a fleet of vehicles, in total around 4,000, to provide all the different transport needs that they have getting people from place to place, the athletes, the officials, things like towing boats out of the water, pulling a horse box at the equestrian event, getting medical supplies around the park, and actually getting medal winners around the park. Some of our electric vehicles are being used specifically for that. So it's a very wide range of requirements and actually a lot of different types of vehicle, but at the same time hitting very tough uh, environmental targets and low carbon emissions. Quite a few hybrids on the fleet, particularly the 5 Series hybrid. We effectively launched that car in the UK in the low cog fleet. We're actually in front of an X1 diesel right now, but it's the efficient dynamics version. The diesels are incredibly important too to meet the objectives. What we've done is, is looked at every little part of the car that can possibly contribute to better fuel economy. So this car will do around 62 miles per gallon. It's pretty exceptional. This is a 4x4 car. Two point oh liter. Yeah, it's a two liter twin scroll turbo diesel. Engine. Four cylinder engine. Four cylinders. One hundred and sixty three horsepower. Tons of torque because yeah, it's diesel. Of torque. Well, it's also tuned in a way that there's a special hydraulic system on the gearbox and engine, so that it will run at lower revs in a higher gear. So often, when you think you should change up in a normal car, this car will do, allow you to carry on. So that's why you can get more economy from it. Ah. This car has regenerative braking. That's I was correct. a little bit confused about that. So yeah. how is that? Because this isn't technically a hybrid. When a car's driving along, it needs power. And that power is coming from the alternator within the engine. But what we do is when the car's on overrun, where you've got wasted energy, we're charging back up the battery and actually feeding the electrical system so the alternator can be disconnected with a clutch. It's the same way the power steering works. When this car is going along on the motorway, you're not steering at all, the electric pump stops. But you don't need it. Most cars, when you're driving along, you've got a pump churning all the time, yeah. taking a small load from the engine. So all those things, they give us tiny little improvements. And you guys even have an electric bicycle. Yeah. Was this just like, all right, so we've gone through our car line. How else can we move people around efficiently? Let's make a bike. I'm rocking out the BMW i Pedelec in my matte blue helmet here. And whoa, <laughs> you just pedal a little bit and it really takes off. This is really cool. It's got a 33 mile range, top speed of about 15 miles an hour. It's got a 200 watt internal hub electric motor. The battery is 350 watt hours. You can take a key, lock it, unlock it, take it off, take it in with you to the office, plug it in, uh, or you can just leave it on the bike and plug it in. The way it works is it assists your pedaling. You've got a gauge here and you can change from levels one through four to help assist you. The bike itself is made up of aluminum and carbon fiber. You can fold the whole thing up with just a few easy steps and the handlebars, when they collapse, they stay up top and you can use that to steer. A big part of BMW's vision for the future of transport is actually integrating different types of transport. The pedelec is an important part of that. Yeah. The idea being that you drive your car from the suburbs. Maybe the best way into town is you park up and ride the last mile, two miles in on the pedelec. All right, we've had a great time in London. And who would have thought the Olympics were such a great opportunity to showcase so many different kinds of vehicles? And we love that BMW and LOCOG kept it green. For Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.